In this video, we present you the implementation of federated databases. Federated databases are important for controlled sharing of data among heterogeneous databases. The common storage of various databases is a data warehouse. A data warehouse creates a copy of all the data. It executes query against the copy of the data. The problem with the data warehouse is the existence of historical data. There are also many complexities in executing the DML operations. This is how the databases are stored in the data warehouse where the transformations are applied on various databases to homogenize them. These databases are then integrated and then stored into the data warehouse. By applying ETL operations, the databases are stored in the data warehouse. In the data warehouse, the required data is retrieved by, by passing the query onto the database respectively. A federated database is an alternative to a data warehouse. It allows each local database to have more control over the shareable information. The main intention of this federation is to integrate heterogeneous databases through a common interface which comprises both textual as well as multimedia data. Federation of source database is done by using a mediator to which a query is given to retrieve the answer. Sources of federated databases are many, geographically distributed data sources, heterogeneous data sources, relational databases, web services, flat files, etc. Here is the view of a federated database. A wrapper class are the ones that are used to make primitive data types into objects and to wrap, make wrapped objects into primitive because as we know the vector in Java can hold only objects but it can't directly store primitive data types like int, float, character, long, double therefore we need to convert simple data types into objects. This can be done using a wrapper class. This is a simple example in the case of an integer. There are many problems in the existing systems. For example, few lookup records, popul populated standard reports, difficulties in creating a new report, optimization problems, performance issues always are disadvantages. Our proposed system shall optimize the business process. It improves the query performance by reducing the replication in the repository. Making a unique platform for retrieving the database from heterogeneous databases is also an advantage. Performing analysis on current data is always an added advantage. We have used in our implementation three databases like Oracle, PostgreSQL and MS Access. Here you can see a graphical user interface which is used to retrieve the required data from the heterogeneous databases by entering a search text. Now, let us see the implementation of our project. We are trying to retrieve information pertaining to students from the chosen three databases. We are interested now in searching for the student by the name attributed as student name. The search text being entered is vanilla. The result being displayed is retrieved from Oracle and MS Access. We can also search the student record by just entering the first letter of the student name in the search text. The result displayed has records of all the students whose names start with the letter S. We can also retrieve the records by using the roll number. The search text being now entered is 103. The output is as shown. Similarly, the records can also be retrieved by using the branch and the percentage fields as well. 
in case if one wants to append the records to the output we can use the go option this can be explained by taking 105 roll number and using the go option the records having the roll number 105 are appended to the records which already existed as output This video has been put together by Ramya Varanasi, Sambhavi J. Raman, Pregna Patavi and Hemalata under the guidance of her sir C. H. Mallikarjun Rao, GRIET, CSE. Thank you.